my picture? You're taking my picture? I didn't realize I was so photogenic. Today's treat. Click. Candies. Click. Click. I was intrigued on my shopping excursion yesterday. I couldn't resist. This is the La Hit candy bar and the Carriot pillows. My imagination went soaring when I noticed these treats. This is the new recipe it mentions here and it says also dairy. Just some blurbs there in the corner. And this is an item from uh, Jerusalem or it says under supervision of the rabbinate of Safed and the Orthodox Council of Jerusalem Ida Charedef. So produced by Unilever <clears throat> which is a huge multinational corporation. I'm absolutely intrigued. I can't wait. And since Carriot Pillows seems a little more intriguing to me, we're going to begin with the bar, the La Hit. Um, you'll notice here that it's sort of a crunchy, papery, maybe crackery inner portion filled with chocolate and coated with chocolate on the outside. So it's going to be a hit. We're going to find out. I like the packaging. Um, both of these I like a lot. The explosive appearance of the treat being featured there. Um, hovering, um, the chosen treat, um, illuminated from an inner luminescence and floating above the crowd. Um, maybe prosthetizing or somehow significant. And then the La Hit. Intriguing. Well, my palette is sufficiently clear. It's a kosher dairy treat. Let's go on and begin. <clears throat> a very conventional, <clears throat> western smelling chocolate with maybe a little bit more like uh, chocolate fat or butter, uh, butter fat sort of a smell. Um, now I'm really picking up on those notes of crackery crumbliness. <clears throat> Actually it's taking precedence now over the, the actual aroma of the chocolate so it does seem like a crispy wafer aroma mixed with chocolate. On the bottom where it was on the manufacturing line we've got like a um, honeycomb pattern almost. And then the top of the treat, let's investigate together. Yes, the conventional ocean rippling wave of chocolate uh, appearance. looks quite nice I must say like the ocean lapping at the dock or against your boat and how far can we see in this tree it is almost like the sandworms from Dune isn't it if you walk without rhythm you won't attract the worm far more crumbly than I would have thought. This inner chocolate that's hinted at on the cover is noticeably not lacking. Ah, what's going on? I'm going to chew for the benefit of you as far into this as it takes. If I have to come out the other side, I'm going to find this advertised chocolatey mass in the center. That was a good tasting bite though. I forgot the retail price. Mm, it was in the section, well, just beside where I found those European equivalent of the sour strawberry straws. And um, I'm pleased by this so far. That was very good. The balance was right there. The chocolateness was on point. And the crackery crumbliness was just about perfect. It didn't explode like, oh, dare I even mention it? <sighs> the strain, the suffering. The, the inner, the emotional turmoil is still there. It still aches. It's still an open wound. When I think about those gold packaged items, the gold spheres, the gold troubles, the, uh, it's like in the medieval period when 
people would wage wars against one another and um, besiege one another, doing all these terrible battles, slaying each other, they would cut into the stomachs of their victims uh, to retrieve the golden uh, coinage or the, the doubloons or whatever the currency of the time was um, because the victims would swallow them to try to hide them from their assailants. That's how I felt uh, when I was eating the Ferrero Rochers. Oh! Ugh. Just the mere mention. Having it past my lips just feels so dirty. Um, it felt as if my chest, stomach, was being ripped open, carved apart, carved asunder, just to have my guts ripped down to me. It was terrible. Ferrero Rocher. Forever my shame. Forever the pain will be with me. <clears throat> anyway, this is the exact opposite. That tastes pretty good. <laughs> my boast was, um, am I going to live up to that boast? Because I'm going to have to bite pretty far into this to get to this chocolatey center because I'm not seeing it. A visual exam is not revealing where it might be. Hmm. No. I can't get my finger in there to do a, a physical check of the chamber. I just don't know what's going to happen here. How am I going to ever find it out? Okay, I'll try to review what's right in front of me right now. Prima Facie. It's good. I like it. It does have... Uh, it edges on... Um, it edges on being overly sweet, but there's a great balance. And then the interplay of the crackery crumbliness um, with the pleasing flavor profile makes for a pretty good time. Pretty good time. I'm having a good time. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is eat a little bit, bit of this later. So I'm going to try to just cut into it. Yeah, unfortunately, had I devoured this entire treat, I would not have been happy. Nor would you have been, because we would have been waiting together, waiting through this, waiting, 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 for nothing, for naught, because check it out. Who's your favorite YouTube personality? Is he there hiding? Could he be hiding? There he is, peeking out, peeking out of the treats. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right. High marks. Good. A little forgettable, but also really well executed and good. Now we move on to click, click, click. Carryout pillows. I'm excited about this. Cocoa butter being mentioned high in the ingredients list. Cocoa mass, whole milk powder, skim milk powder. So I'm uh, suspecting once again that I'm going to get that fattiness, that a little bit of a... Um, well, the aroma and the taste, the, the pleasing mouth sensation of having a fatty, <clears throat> having all those fatty elements of the treat in the mix playing together. The play they do. We all do. Uh, much different smell. Let me just get this one out of range. This one's headier. This one is more up front. It's more, um, um, it's sort of a, um, it sticks around in the forward portion of my sinuses and up front in like a column almost. It smells column-like. It smells, it smells like a very up front, upper nasal, thing is what I'm getting. Not altogether good, it just seems like sugar with some heavy cocoa mass uh, lingering around. Um, dragging it down actually, there's nothing clean about this smell, it's just kind of like um, a, a burden, it's sort of a loping or a um, a not not insensitive, but a, an ungraceful smell. Ungraceful but towering. So 
I'm going to move to the eating portion. Uh, it feels, they feel uh, sticky. They feel as if I could squeeze them. Maybe no, no. It's just, it's just. It fe it seems like it would be more yielding than it actually is. It's not very yielding. The individual individual one smells more waxy, more. <clears throat> I don't know. More like it's undergone some refining in a bad way. But the flavor is what we're after. I'm gonna dwell with this one for a minute. I think it's gonna yield. Uh, better results if I dwell with it and I dwell with you. Already a smooth, um, creamy chocolate is coming away from the treat. Yeah. I'm already getting to the middle, which is crackery again. The chocolate's basically all gone. It melted away and disappeared from my mouth. A lot faster than expected, and the flavor wasn't too good. Now I'm getting a straight cereal. Not altogether bad, ricey. Probably is rice. I don't know. Nougat filled crunchy cereals, it says. With hazelnuts, so it must be hazelnuts. And wheat bran. So yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting that cerealness. And then in the center was, um, well, it's strange. It, it began with a not altogether pleasing aroma, and then it moved to a not altogether pleasing, um, uh, quickly melting outer outer layer. Taste was good. It just tasted a little cheap, a little, low, a little bit of low quality. The crackeriness was welcome. It didn't seem during that exchange that I had with it to be overly sweet, but it also didn't seem, it wasn't wowing me. And in the center, it just fizzled down. It just faded away. It just sort of was like, eh. And then it got worse and worse and worse with a little spike of uh, possibility, a little spike of potential in there. But we don't nourish our potential very often, do we? It's really rare that the um, stars all line up in such a way where you can actualize. And it's a great um, amount of labor we have to engage in, a great emotional upheaval, a real, um, a, a real strength of character has to emerge for our will to exert itself and really actualize our potential. And then these click, carry out pillows, they're just not doing it. They're not really actualizing themselves. Leaving the consumer wanting, leaving your the reviewer wanting, I'm going to bite into this one. Bite it! Can't tell if it's more successful or less. Hmm. These treats are good, but forgettable. This one's a little worse, I think. One treat I do not like, maybe if it's done right, maybe they come from a tradition or it stems from something I would like, the malted milk ball. I guess I've only tried really the big conventional, like huge corporate ones. But it seems to me that However, the treat evolved way back in its history is probably something I really would have gotten behind. Because um, I do like tart and sour things, and I do like the idea of this maybe soured or malted or otherwise uh, altered milk um, in combination with some chocolate. But the every time I tried them, it's been terrible. And I was almost getting that sensation because I was crunching down through it. This one's very pillow-like. I could probably lay it on my table and go ahead and take a restful nap which I'm, I'm in need of, dire need of it, actually, after today. So, <clears throat> I'm going to bite through one more. Why not? Yeah, kind of a bad, cheap chocolate taste on the outset. Mm. The first one I ate... The outer chocolate didn't really get a chance to mingle with the carryout pillow inner portion of the carryout pillow. In this case, I think it did get that opportunity, but even with the mingling, it's still coming off not nearly as successful as the La Hit because the La Hit had a, a cleaner, 
more breezy, lighter, more forgiving flavor. This one, while trying to evoke something a little more structurally entertaining, it falls flat because the cornerstones are are poorly manufactured, poorly done. It's 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 all together a little bit poor the more I eat them, but I'm gonna bite into this one halfway. What I'm really concerned about is this phantom chocolate. Are you with me on this? That is a that is light gleaming off an inner chocolate portion, which if I was designing this would be darker, richer far more robust where as you bite into it you're greeted with something that makes it even more savory even more enticing and you would finish with a warmer sensation on your palate because you would travel this great um, you would just go on this great adventure in your in your candy moments that's not what I'm getting here I'm missing both from the La Hit and the Carry Out Pillow the promised chocolate on the in the center even if it was low quality chocolate, it would still be chocolate, and that is what is being advertised. So I feel juked. Well, thanks for joining me today. I enjoyed doing this review. I enjoyed the chance to experience the Click candies, and um, I would I would say if you're in the mood for something that's not too abrasive, and you come across a lot hit. Hit it.